Yo, find people of TikTok and YouTube if you're going to be watching this replay. And go with another awesome aura polling video. We are here at the back office, the warehouse space. We're going to be packing your orders today. I got some cool stuff to show from what's in these orders here. Um, but yeah, basically, for those of you new here, on Wednesdays, our Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we pack orders. And then Fridays, we pull orders all on our live stream. And then if you ever miss the live video, we do repost them over to YouTube. So very exciting today. Uh, I see we got some of our homies in the chat. I hope y'all are having a great week so far. Um, but yeah, a few announcements, you guys. It's been a super fun last few days. We released our exclusive Narwhal, and then we re uh, released an exclusive ink. Hey, Brian, can you actually grab the Izzy Monster swatch? Um, we actually have a, a brand new ink that we dropped yesterday. Um, Brian's actually um, gonna go grab the swatch it in the bottle. Um, yeah, so fun. We got a great crowd in already. But yeah, so for those of you who aren't familiar, we're a fine writing and stationery shop here in downtown Chicago. Um, we also have a website. We cater to uh, everyone around the world. Uh, we ship internationally to like 30 different countries. It's pretty wild. Um, but yeah, so we're going to jump into um, packing here in a second. I'm just going to wait on the, the swatch for the Izzy Monster, give you a background about that, and then showcase that. But how the heck y'all doing? Did you guys have a good weekend? I hope y'all have been doing really well. Perfect. Sweet. Excellent. Okay. So we've been teasing this on our Discord for quite some time. Um, basically, we've been working with Robert Oster in Australia to produce a uh, custom and exclusive ink for us. Uh, we did, we've done this in the past, uh, and it's been a really fun process working with him. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with our Vampire Pigeon ink, uh, we went ahead and did that a few months back, and it's been one of our most popular inks that we carry. So uh, Brian actually took the lead on this and he wanted to create an ink inspired by his oldest daughter, Izzy. So uh, apparently Izzy is one that, you know, crawls and climbs everywhere. She basically gets to every and anything. Um, so her favorite color is purple. So Brian worked with Rob to formulate this beautiful, beautiful purple with kind of a pink um, base and shimmer. And since Izzy seems to uh, get to any and everything, her nickname has been Izzy Monster. So this ink we just dropped yesterday. We've got it here in stock. A really fun project. It's very close to home for uh, all of us, especially Brian. But, you know, considering I'm Izzy's uncle and then we also have her grandparents here. Um, it's been, been a super fun ride to see the development of that project. So it is available now. It's absolutely beautiful and it's on par with our great exclusive collection. So. That's what we wanted to show off first. Um, I have your basket of orders here. Uh, a lot of you did actually order our exclusive narwhal, which we're gonna jump right in on the first order, which features actually three narwhals. Check that out. Um, the first one we're gonna show is our exclusive lavender dream. Now, for those of you who uh, are not familiar with narwhal, it's a fine writing manufacturer that uh, started in 2019, so relatively new in the grand scheme of pens. But we've done exclusives with them in the past, and uh, this one we wanted to create a beautiful piece uh, that would be perfect for winter, and uh, I guess Valentine's Day as well. So we worked with Starry Night Resins to create this beautiful uh, resin, and then sent it to Narwhal to produce it in their Nautilus series. So this right here is the Nautilus Lavender Dream. Uh, and then we did appoint it or adorn it with rose gold hardware. This pen is so sweet, you guys. And we actually have already sold over half the units in less than like, like 36 hours. I don't know. It's only been out for like three days, four days. And we're really pushing through the inventory. So uh, I'm not sure if we'd make another batch. My assumption is no. So if you are interested, it's about $190. Uh, we do have a few nib sizes left. I think it's uh, fine, medium, broad, double broad stub, I want to say. So this is the first one that we got right here. Let me double check the nib. This one should be a medium. This pen is beautiful. What do you guys think about it? How do you like it? I really enjoy it. It's a very soft and elegant styled piece. And the timing of the release is perfect. It makes a great Valentine's Day gift. Um, you know, kind of is a wintry design. 
Let's see what else we have here. This one's going to Oklahoma, by the way. Three narwhals. This one's going to be the violet. I think it's an ebonite one. Yeah. So same model, just different materials. So this is ebonite. It's like hard rubber for those of you who aren't familiar. What's super fun about narwhal is they actually, uh, they plate their nibs and their uh, hardware. So like the portholes, the clip, really cool. Love the color combo, soft and elegant is a perfect description. Yep, thank you, Squatch. Nice to see you, by the way. Tanya asks, are they numbered? They are not, but I will be up front. We only made 150 of them, and it's more than halfway gone already. So not numbered. Oh man, if there's an 88, I will be hard pressed to say no. I wish I had uh, specific numbers for you, but we do not. Um, sometimes with the exclusives, we, we do like limited production, but they are unnumbered because if we want to make another limited batch, it gives us the opportunity to create a second batch. I don't know if that's going to be the case with this one though. All right, then the last one we have... Oh, I'm, yeah, sorry. This was the Lilas, by the way. The Ebonite Lilas. Uh, this one right here is the Violet. Let's see what it is. Oh, whoa. So the other one we just saw was more pink. This one is more red and purple. Our friend here must really, really enjoy the Nautilus collection. So we're getting three of them today. Let's see, the nib size on this is supposed to be a medium, I believe. Yep, so we're all good. So one broad, two mediums. I got it. It's my first Nautilus. Well, thank you for the support. Yeah, we are actually already getting them all shipped out. So for those of you who ordered, you should be seeing your packages, uh, you know, getting out the door relatively quickly. Medium is a good nib size. I agree. And one thing about Narwhal pens is they are a little juicy. They are a little juicy. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and bubble wrap these buttes. You guys ever had matcha tea? My fiance introduced me to matcha tea uh, about a year and a half ago. And I got to tell you, I love it. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. Let me get that out of the way. I'd hate to spill some uh, green liquid on your pens. But yeah, you know, in an effort to really try to limit my coffee intake, which I haven't been successful at, I've been trying to do matcha. Do this as nicely as possible. You guys know I'm a, all about that perfect wrap. I am not afraid to use a lot of bubble wrap. Rather, the product gets to you safely. Pinkies up, classy. Yep, yep, yep. Matcha is good, but sometimes be a bit too grassy. You have to be careful. You know what? It's a perfect way to describe matcha. Grassy. I didn't like it at first, to be honest with you. Did not like it at first. And then kind of the more you have it, the more you appreciate it. All right, let's see. What kind of box are we going to need? Got all the box options right here. I don't know if this is going to be tall enough. We might low key have to uh, split up the uh, the three. Yeah, we're going to do it, folks. We're going to do it. We're splitting them up. This just reinforces to you guys that I am not the lead packer here, but I do my best. All right, we're going to repurpose this bubble wrap. Hey, Brendan. Yes. I just want to tell everybody I'm closer to Mike. He's the lead packer in our house though. I'm the lead packer in your house. There you go. Thank you. See, mom always showing me support. What can I say? 
even though I just come up here and wing it every single time. You know what, we're just gonna individually wrap them all. At first I thought she was making a Packers joke. I was about to say, what the heck? Last one of the bunch. There we go, look at that. Now we got some versatility on how to stack them. So we always put some craft paper on the bottom. Let's throw some of these in here. We're gonna fill it up. We should make a packing video that's ASMR like. I don't know if you guys like this like, the wrinkling sounds, or it's just straight up obnoxious. One of the two. The custom handwritten note we're throwing in today says new pen day. All right, let's get this packing slip into the box. Anyone want to guess the weight? I'm gonna guess like one and three quarters. That's gonna be my guess. One and three quarters of a pound. Survey says, oof, just under two and a quarter. Just under two and a quarter. Squatch, are you playing prices right? You just upped me by 0 0.05 of a pound? That's crazy. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right, this one's a 13 by 10 by 6. Yeah, that's what I was asking if this is part of that. Okay. I almost forgot. We do throw a label on every box. Atlas label, that way you know the goods have arrived. I'll take one dollar, Bob. To our friend in Oklahoma, much love. That's how you, that's how you wrap and pack right there. You see that? That's a nice package. Now it might've taken me 10 minutes to do, which is not efficient, but you know that was packed with some love. All right, next up we got a friend from California ordering a ton of inks. So as you guys know, when we do these videos, we always pick something from the orders to give away. Obviously we don't give away the exact item that somebody ordered, but we give away that product. So there's some good stuff in here and I think I got something I want to give away. So first up we've got two Aurorealis Models by Ferris Wheel Press. Sick. These are dope. Then we've got the Knitted Nettle, the smaller bottle. Yep, the 20 ml. Then we got the Crystal Blue Legacy. This person must really love some FWP, the Sherry Sonata. Stop doing TikTok and just do your job. That's that's hilarious. 
Dang, does somebody want to inform him? Whoever that is. A TikTok is my job. All right, and then uh, Ferris will press carousel. This should be a fine nib. Awesome, we're looking good. So for the Ferris wheel press inks, I'm actually gonna wrap them individually. You're not getting paid to do TikToks? Dang, this person's out here to get me today, huh? So I'll let you know some info. This is my family's business. So family business that's been around for 85 years, my friends. So that's me flexing right now. It's all good. We welcome new people. I only have a job because I do TikTok. Exactly. That's exactly right. So you're costing your family money by wasting time doing TikTok. All right, we're not gonna respond to that, but it was fun while it lasted. All right, one left guys. Actually, I think, I think what I want to do is I'm going to give away one of the Aurorealis inks. You won't respond because it's true. Mm. That's crazy. Let's get a bigger box. This one is a 13 by 10 by 6. I appreciate you guys backing me up. Don't worry, I don't take things personally. I think people fear what they don't understand. All right, let me undo this real quick. This is what we're going to give away. Maybe our new friend here will be the lucky winner. Maybe this is what we'll start to... Uh, be the start of getting them into fountain pens. So we're gonna give away the Aurora Alice ink. I'll let you know the prompts here in a little bit. I do gotta say it is entertaining though. It is entertaining. You know what, we're gonna go one box size down. I think this is a little too tall. We're gonna need a box that's like half this, uh, this height right here. Let's see. I think this will do. 13 by 10 by four. Must be a ballpoint user, nice. That's goofy. I think it's very important that you all know your own self-worth and that there's always going to be some haters out there. Or just people who don't understand, which is cool. All right, let's see what card we want. This one says, Love Ink. All right, let's guess the weight. Let's see. This so one just under two and a half pounds. 13 by 10 by four, let's get it.
Where's Mr. President? He is doing some other stuff. But he'll be live tomorrow. At... I think we do Wednesdays at 12. So 12 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, and then Friday's the big one that you all love. The order polling. Can't forget this little... Atlas sticker. Boom. Thank you to our friend in California. You know what? Actually, let's take a poll. Should we give away that Ferris wheel press Aurorealis or should we give away one of our brand new Izzy monsters? Let's see if I can do a poll on here. Um, maybe interact. I've never done one. Let's see. Quick poll. Mm. Oh, that's so sick. I didn't know you could do this live. It's kind of hard to type though when this phone is uh, posted. Okay, all right, for all of you watching live, this is gonna dictate what we give away. Did it work? Do you guys see a poll? Let's see if it worked. Anyways, we're gonna decide either the Aurora Alice or the Izzy Monster. All right, both are actually kind of close in color to be quite honest with you. It worked sick. Well, welcome to the very first poll we've ever taken on our TikTok live. Give yourselves a round of applause. Crazy. All right, what else we got? This next one is going to be pretty quick. It is the Poison Envy, another Ferris wheel press item. You guys are some uh, Ferris wheel press addicts. This one's going to Connecticut. This one's gonna go in a nine by six by four. Yeah, I can't see the results, at least now, so maybe at the end. It'll show the results, but maybe you guys can see that like what's leading right now. Cause I really don't know. Izzy for sure. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like Izzy's mom is in the chat. Grace, what's popping? What do you think of the ink? Inspired after your, your daughter. The Izzy monster. That's cute. That's a cute nickname. Izzy by a landslide. Let's see if we got a different, a different card. You know what? It's almost Valentine's Day, so we're gonna stay with the heart. Izzy, duh, nice. Very nice. Let's guess the weight of this bad boy right here. Again, going to Connecticut. A quarter pounder. You know, I don't know why, but sometimes I think of weights when I'm doing packages as McDonald's burgers. It's crazy. Like this is equivalent to a quarter pounder at McDonald's. That's crazy. It's crazy. Cam wants his own ink now. I think we should definitely uh, get going on a whole series. But I don't know, does Cam have a nickname? What's his favorite color at least? I don't know why I feel like green is his favorite color, but it could be way off.
Oof. What's up with this? There we go. Thank you so much. All right, we got a couple left, you guys. This next one is going to be for two Rhodia pads going to another friend in California. 16201. This is actually the most popular size Rhodia pads. The number 16. I think it's the A5 size. He said he wants green with blue shimmer. I knew it. I knew it. That would be a nice combo. I know what I want the prompt to be, by the way. I got a good prompt, a very good prompt. And actually, if we haven't yet, we'll announce the winners of the last couple videos, the, the giveaways. We've been giving away some fun stuff. I don't know if these will fit. California is represented today, that's for sure. Let's see. You know what they say, if it fits, it ships. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to throw it in a bigger box. Oh, here we go. Izzy won 78 to 22. All right, so we'll give away the Izzy Monster Inc. Brand new. Hasn't even been out for 24 hours. So the prompt is going to be inspired by our fun interaction that we had on this live video earlier. I don't know how to get out of the... Oh, there we go. See, I don't know how to get out of the pole. Inspired by the fun interaction we had earlier. What is one pen that you would recommend to a new fountain pen user, somebody who has never used a fountain pen before, which pen would you recommend to help get them started? Don't, don't post it in this live feed because your answer might be taken, but during the replay, post it in the comments and then we'll pick one at random. Uh, and then that person will, will win the Izzy Monster exclusive ink. Because, you know, how I feel about, you know, uh, kind of people joining or, you know, um, commenting about things they might not know is it might just be a lack of information. So when I see stuff like that, I'm thinking like, okay, well, how can we inform them about who we are, what we do? And so I feel that way with fountain pens. You know, I'm sure you all see it on like just community forums and stuff. People are like, why would you pay $30 for a fountain pen? I'd never pay anything more than two bucks. The way to combat that is by literally just offering knowledge and providing recommendations. Because hopefully, once that person tries it, then they start enjoying the fountain pens and then maybe we just gain another person in the community. Bonus points if you recommend a nice ink combo as well. You know, when I think of a, an ink that is for someone getting started. I'm not sure a super fun shimmering ink is the right call. Maybe it is, maybe it is. But, you know, I think of a really solid like blue or a black or, um, you know, Monteverde comes to mind. I really like, I really like Monteverde's core collection. Oh, I gotta retape this, this was a bad one. Um, because one, the bottles are very economical but two, their colors uh, behave really well. You know, it's low maintenance, less chance of it clogging the pen. For somebody who, you know, let's say they get a, a, a new pen and then they get a super shimmering ink. If they aren't aware that that could clog their pen and then their pen doesn't write, it might turn them off to fountain pens. Like, oh, wow, I got to clean this every few days, you know? So that's kind of my thought. Nine by six by four, let's get it. All right, what was the weight? Just under one and a half. Let's get it. 
Tanya, you are a funny person based off that comment. That's why she's one of our Discord moderators. That's what's up. We have some enforcers on our uh, on our Discord moderation team. Tanya is one of them. All right, how fitting. The last one we're going to pull today is actually another order for our exclusive Narwha. So I'm going to show it off. I'm wondering if this one has a little bit different variation. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit softer on the purple. God, this thing's a beauty. This thing is a beaut. How could you not like that? You know what? Dude, check this out. That's what I was just about to do, Tanya, is pair it up. It works perfectly with the Izzy Monster ink. Like, literally perfectly. Great minds think alike. All right, let's get this wrapped up. Yeah, I can't wait to the next project we do with Narwhal. Just a lot of fun. We try to take our time when designing the exclusives because obviously, you know, you never want to oversaturate with limiteds. But we also want to take our time designing something that we think will do really well. And then also keep some, some additional ideas in the back burner so we can, you know, be thinking about what's next. Let's see, where's the front? We're gonna do it this way. This is gonna be a uh, 10 by seven by four. Oh, too many sheets. New pen day, let's go. Yes, we do have our fountain pen tournament starting up in a few weeks. It'll be the fourth annual tournament where we take 64 of the community's favorite pens that we carry here at Atlas. We match them up head-to-head -head tournament style. Uh, very similar to the NCAA March Madness bracket that everyone loves to participate in. Um, so we're currently working on that and we're finalizing the details. Um, and actually we're making the bracket. So that should hopefully come out soon. Um, that tournament is so fun every year. It's one of my favorite events that we host. It's a month long, too, so it's a lot of following along and participating. Oh, come on, make this look nice. Dang it. We got to do one more. My taping skills are off today. All right, let's get that sticker, the final label. Folks, this is it. We are coming to an end. Any final comments, questions, concerns? 10 by 7 by 4. This one's going to New York. A blast to watch. Not good at the tournament, but fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, even then, you know, even if you don't know much about the pens that are in the tournament, we put links in every matchup so you can see and learn about the product. So at the very least, you're seeing, you know, images and a description and, you know, you're kind of researching while having fun. Thank you for the gifts. Winner gets a free ticket to the sidewalk sale, travel and lodging not included. That's a good idea, actually. 
we might have to factor that in. But yes, thank you so much for tuning in. This was a lot of fun. Um, we'll get this replay uploaded to YouTube uh, and then we'll make sure we post the giveaway as well. Um, but really appreciate the love as always. You know, feel free to hit us up if you have any other comments, questions, concerns. Otherwise, we'll see you live tomorrow, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Time. We'll do another packing video. But you all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.